Hello all, welcome to Think Automation YouTube channel. If you want to learn more about Qtus, Tosca and other Tricentis products, then this is the right YouTube channel for you. Please hit the subscribe button and like this video so that the content will reach to more people. Right. The topic for the day is how to convert or upload your existing Tosca test cases to the Tosca cloud environment. How you can make a copy from your Tosca to the cloud and you can execute the same test case in the cloud itself. Without further delay, we'll just move into actual demonstration. Right. With the help of new releases 2023 and 24 of Tosca, we have an option to upload or migrate your existing test cases from the on-premise environment to cloud environment. So what you need to do, what is the prerequisite for that? The prerequisite is you need to have proper Tosca on-premise installation and you have test cases created and you have also registered or signed up for the Tosca cloud environment. Now, if you want to learn how you need to register or onboard to the Tosca cloud environment, I have uploaded separate video on that. I'll give the link in the description box. Please go and refer that to sign up. Right. I assume that you already signed up now. Now we'll see in real time how you need to connect the Tosca to the cloud and how you need to upload your test cases. This is my sample Tosca cloud environment where I have created already. So where I have created some sample test cases was already there and sample playlist or execution list is already there. Now I'm going to upload my new test case, which is created fully in Tosca and I will be uploading the same to the cloud environment. How you need to do that? To do that, you need to just copy this URL up to my.tricentis.com and please come here to your Tosca. Right hand side bottom, you will see that new option called not connected to Tosca cloud. This indicates that your Tosca workspace is not yet connected to any Tosca cloud environment. Please ensure that you are having this option. Once you see this, you need to right click on the project root folder and then you will see an additional option called connect to Tosca cloud. Just click on that. After that, you will ask to enter the tenant URL of the Tosca environment. Just repeat this, right click in your project, you will see an option connect to Tosca cloud. So it will give you the exact format tenant name my.tricentis.com and just copy paste this. Once you click on next, it will retrieve all the workspaces or it will ask the credentials basically. So it is trying to authenticate now. Now I'm entering the credentials. Just signing in, completing the signing in process. Once you enter your credentials, you will see a success message successfully connected to the Tosca cloud. Click on got it. Now, right hand side bottom, if you see, you will see and connected to Tosca cloud. Previously, it was not connected. Now it is connected to Tosca cloud. Right. After this, what you need to do to upload your test cases, your test cases needs to be there either web based application test cases or a API based application test case. These are all the two technologies that is currently supported by Tosca cloud. So if your test cases is belong to any one of these environment, you can go ahead and upload your test cases to the Tosca cloud. What you need to do either you can right click on any test case after checking it out you will see an option called upload to test case or in the ribbon itself, you will see an option upload to upload this test case. You click either one of this option. I'm just going to upload to Tosca cloud now. After that, it will be getting connected to Tosca cloud now. Once it is connected to Tosca cloud, it will ask you to select the workspace. So inside the Tosca cloud environment, you can create multiple workspaces, how you are creating in your Tosca on-premise. So select your workspace. I'm going to integrate with Tosca integration workspace. After that, I will click on this upload button. 
So after some time, you'll see in success message where you uh, test case is automatically uploaded. You have two options now, either you can close it or directly you can open it in cloud now itself. Right, I, I will be navigating to the same Tosca cloud environment and refresh the page. Now you can see there is an additional test case called search is getting uploaded automatically here. You can compare the test cases. It is the test case name is search and we have a couple of test steps where you're opening the Google URL and searching for ABC. That's what we are doing in this test case. I'm just navigating to this test cases in same way. Yeah, you can see that same test steps is getting carried over here. If you expand that, you will see similar structure where I'm opening Google environment and searching for ABC and clicking on a search button. That's what we are doing it here. That is case status and where uh, what is the action mode and data type, whatever you have it in Tosca that is getting carried forward to the cloud environment as well. So other, th other than that, if you go to your test cases, you will additionally notice that there is a tax getting inserted. This will follow the folder structure, whatever you are having in the Tosca environment. So you are having Tosca and under that trial environment, that's what the folder structure you have here. So similar to that, you have trials, test cases, tax is getting added now with the root project name. So in future, you will expect and folder structure also getting created. This is first step towards that. So this is how you need to upload your test cases directly from Tosca environment to cloud, right? You can uh, directly run this test case exactly how you can do that. So I'm going to click on run button now. It will ask me whether you, you, you already downloaded launcher or starting the test run directly i will upload separate video how you need to do all these. the execution is getting started yeah you can you can see that the google.com is getting open and you can see that the browser is having a tosca automation extension getting operated over there and the abc is getting typed in your uh, google website so the execution is happened successfully now. Now I will go back to the, the original builder. I'm just seeing the view last run. Yeah, here you can see the logs of the last run where you can see the test case is actually getting failed, but you can see that what is getting failed uh, what is the reason for this failure? All those stuff you'll be able to see. Additionally, you will be able to see the recording of the uh, test case navigation, why it is getting failed. All those stuff you will be able to see in the cloud. Here you can see the recording of the whole test case execution, what was happened. All those stuff you will be able to see. In the attachment, you will see additional, the recording, you can download it. You can see JUnit result, you can see the logs file. All those information you'll be able to see, right? That That's how your test cases from your Tosca on-premise environment to cloud is getting uploaded or getting converted and how you can um, ex uh, migrate your existing test cases to the cloud environment. Yeah, that's all I have for this topic. If you want to learn more about how you, how you need to sign up for Tosca cloud environment, please refer my existing video. I have also uploaded a video about Tosco Copilot where demonstrating all the AA features of a Tosca. Please refer those videos, subscribe the channel. Thank you.